Hello everyone, welcome back to Check Your Altitude Barbecue. I'm Dave Chapman, and today I'm gonna to show you how I like to smoke a pork butt to make pulled pork sandwiches. In my opinion, it's one of the simplest pieces of meat to smoke. It's very forgiving and simple to do. So come along with me, and I'm gonna show you how I like to do it. thing I did is I trimmed a little bit of this fat cap off just right here it was about a half an inch thick it was a little thicker than I wanted so I trimmed a little bit of that off now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a binder on it I'm just gonna use a little bit of olive oil to help that rub stick just a little bit I'm just gonna put that on rub it in real nice flip it same thing just make sure I get all the edges get it coated real good I'm gonna flip it back to this side all right now I'm going to put my rub on. I'm just using the real, the pork rub that I like to use. It's a sweet rub. I get the recipe off of the Hey Girl Hay website. So I'm just going to coat this really good with this rub. flip it over it's a little difficult with one glove sometimes but I like to keep the one hand clean because of the, the bottle with the rub in it so I'll get this side get it all seasoned up I already have the smoker going this morning So we're gonna let this sit for just a minute, let that soak in, and then we'll get it on the smoker. So we're out here at the smoker. It's about 229 degrees. As you can see, it snowed last night. It's about 13 degrees out here, but that's not gonna deter us. It did take a little bit longer to get the smoker up to temp, but we're gonna go ahead and get this pork butt on here. So we're gonna open up here, and I'm just gonna place this in my favorite spot on this grill. And that's right here on the left side. Right here on the left side. Because that seems to stay the most constant. I am going to take a pan and stick it underneath here. I want to catch some of those drippings and I also want to uh, reduce what goes down into my drip pan. So it's been an hour. We're going to open this up. I did forget to mention that I started my smoke tube just to get a little bit more smoke flavor on there. Um, so what we're going to do now is we're going to pull this out just a hair and then I am going to temp dropping because I opened the thing but I'm going to pull this out just a hair so that I can get a spritz on it I'm going to spritz this down I've got some apple cider vinegar and I've also got a little bit of coke in here um, I usually use apple juice, but I didn't realize I didn't have any apple juice this morning. So, no apple juice, but the coke will work just fine. Get that spritz down nice and neat. And we are going to go ahead and put it back in. And we'll go another hour. I'm not going to put a probe in it yet. We're going we're gonna to wait at least another hour. I'm here to take a look. It's been three hours. looking really good. I did end up putting a probe in and I've um, spritzed it a couple times. I'm going to go ahead and spritz it again. Okay, so our pork butt's reached an internal temperature of 145 degrees. It's taken on about as much smoke as it's going to take. So we're going to go ahead and pull it. We're going to wrap it. We're going to add a little bit of liquid in here and then we're gonna push it through the stall that's gonna happen here in a few degrees and then get it up to about that 203, 205 degree temperature before we pull it. So we're gonna add a little bit of liquid. 
We got a little bit of apple cider vinegar in there. And then we're gonna add a little bit of Coke just to give it a little bit of moisture. Then we're gonna wrap it up. There we go, and we're gonna put it back on the smoker. Our pork butt's back on the smoker. We got it all wrapped up. We got a little bit of liquid inside. The probe is in there, and now we just gotta wait. We've got probably another three or four hours before it reaches that internal temperature of 203 to 205 degrees, or until I can uh, stick my stick the probe in, and it just feels like it's going into butter. So that's really what we're looking for. So. We're gonna keep checking back every hour or so. I'm gonna flip it around from time to time just so it's even all the way around and we'll check back with you in a little bit. So our pork butt has reached our target temperature. So I went ahead and pulled it off. We're gonna take a look here. Wow. That looks really good. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna get it out of this juice. We're gonna work on separating some of the fat from the uh, from the juice. And then we're gonna let the pork butt rest for a little bit. And then we'll in reintroduce some of that juice back into it when we pull it. So we are gonna go ahead and get that going. And we'll be back in a minute. Here we go. We're gonna we'll put it in a new pan. We're going to cover it up. Then we're going to put it in a cooler and let it sit for a while and just rest. Okay, it's been about an hour. The pork butt was resting in the cooler. So now we're going to uncover it, take a look. And we are going to go ahead and get it full. All right. Well, this looks really good. So we're going to get this bone out of here. And that came out just perfectly clean. All right. So we are going to just start pulling these, pulling this apart. I prefer to use my hands to do this. I have the claws, but I prefer to use my hands. I have the cotton liners under the gloves, and to me it just is better. It, it, I, it's more hands-on for me, and I prefer to do it this way. Um, but you can do it however you want. So we'll just pull this out, pull this apart, kind of get it into some bigger chunks here. Are some seams of some fat in there I'm gonna get rid of but we're gonna just shred this down we want to leave some of that fat in there because on pork we all know that fat is flavor so gonna, you can probably see the steam coming off of it it's it's still piping hot that's why I got to wear those liners under the gloves because if not, there's no way. There's that fat cap. I'm going to go ahead and take that off. It didn't render all the way down, but that's okay. Now it's just, just falling apart, which is what we want. It's not mushy. moisture in it. We're going to have to try a piece here in a second. All right, let me try this piece right here. Mm. 
That's really good. That smoke, you can really taste the smoke on it. Um, I added that smoke tube in there to give it just a little bit more smoke flavor, and I think that was that was the ticket on this one because I can really taste the smoke on it. Okay, so we got some of that juice mixed up in there. And next, the last thing I like to do is I like to add some of that rub we put on it at the beginning. I like to add that back into it. Um, when you season it at the beginning, you just season the outside of it. So now we're going to add a little bit more flavor into the meat. And I just, I feel it just adds that little bit of extra flavor that just really pops. So we're going to add some of this in. Mix it up. Add some more. And mix it in. And that will just add a little extra layer of flavor to that. So and there you have it. A simple pulled pork recipe. If you like pulled pork, in my opinion, simple is the way to go. A lot of people are, are intimidated about uh, smoking a pork butt, it's really one of the most forgiving pieces of meat there is. So, um, hope you enjoyed the video. We're going to enjoy this tomorrow, so I'm going to get this wrapped up and into the fridge. And we will catch you on the next video. As always, please remember to check your altitude. Have a good one.